are women sexual like men? This is a question that I think all of you know, because every guy out there who's a coach is always saying, you know, women love sex. Women is just as sexual as men. And guess what? This is the truth. But what if I told you that your mind doesn't know that this is the truth until you give it evidence? Your mind will never know that this is the truth until you give it evidence. Any guy who says to you or who you hear say women are just as sexual as men is because they've seen evidence firsthand of this being real. Porn in itself is not going to show a man that women love sex just as much as men. It's only going to show that a woman is being fucked. And that's like <clears throat> what most men out there are used to. They're used to porn, so it's just like this accepted norm thing. But the actual women on the street walking around to get the perspective, the insight, or the truth into these women love sex just as much as little girls into porn, that's something that needs evidence. And if you don't get evidence around this, your mind will always go, yeah, but you don't know if that's really true though. Your mind will consistently do this. Now, of course, I talk about this right now as far as beliefs, because you guys know that I don't actually believe in beliefs. I believe in truth. But to help you out, Beliefs is something that can aid you into going towards letting go of beliefs. So, of course, I'll always condone you know, letting go of beliefs, but to get you started, one of the things that you can do is to get evidence that women love sex just as much as men. Because if you do not get evidence, you will always feel a glitch when you're around women. You will always feel like, is this the right thing to say? You'll always feel like when you're in front of a woman, should I speak like this or should I wait till later? Is she ready for this? Because most guys don't know that most women are actually ready to talk about sex. They are. They're ready to talk about sexual innuendos and to express themselves in a sexual way, whether that be playful or whether that be non-playful and very intense and, and, and ready. Whatever it is, women want to talk about it as much as you want to talk about it. But I don't care how much I say that to you, your mind <clears throat> will not get the evidence around this until you firsthand go get evidence. And this brings me to why do men struggle so much with this idea around women liking sex just as much as men and men being okay talking about sex, sex and that giving a woman a chance to be okay talking about it, women feeling like they don't want to be sluts. Why do men have so much confusion around sex in relation to women and women liking sex just like we do? Why is it there? It's there because there's not heavy role models around you telling you all the time that sex is okay. Talking about sex is okay. Women love sex. They love talking about it. They love the journey that it takes them through. They love the feelings that arise with that. Society is not always letting you know this. It's letting you know the opposite, that men are creeps, that men are sleazy when they try to show their sexual interest, that until a woman gives you the green light, you better not talk about it because it's creepy, it's sleazy, it's weird. That's how it's proposed to us. And if we want to be someone who takes a different proposal from the world, then we must put ourselves around different influences. Me being someone who grew up around, you know, brothers who were players and stuff, you know, I kind of had this influence that this was the truth. But for me to really, really throughout my life, for me to really have this as a living thing inside of me, I had to go see for myself. I had to go put myself out there in situations. 
Because although I've had sex, uh, sex, sex, before I had success, before I came into this pickup journey, so to speak, or you can call it the seduction journey or the, a man's journey, before I had su the success coming into this, I also had to consistently keep myself around sources that let me know that that was true. And I couldn't find sources. So although I, I had this insight into, you know what, women like sex just as much as men and, you know, I've had some firsthand experience, I still needed to stay around evidence because guess what? The collective is very strong. When you're around the collective, which is society, which is uh, any group, when you're around any collective that has the strength of men are creepy, men are sleazy, men shouldn't show the sexual interest until the woman gives them the green light. When you're around that consistently, the collective is so strong. Conditioning from the collective is so strong. Why do you think people still struggle with conditioning? Why do you think men still struggle with conditioning? Women still struggle with conditioning because it's so deeply embedded because when you're around it constantly and you're constantly seeing evidence of it and you're constantly seeing People talk about it. You're constantly hearing women talk about men being sleazy and creepy, and you're constantly not showing the, uh, your sexuality. All these things are reinforcing what the collective is trying to enforce upon you. And that's what I had to do. I had to come out of that place of me just wanting to be around sources that was comfortable. Because when the collective gives you that, that's actually comfortable in a way. Because you're like, all right, I know this is the limit. And once you get the limit, you're like, I'm not going to cross this limit. So if showing my sexual interest before the woman is ready, so to speak, is bad, then you know what I'll do? I'll just hold off. Because I know that if I try to show, it'll be creepy or sleazy. So I'll just hold off. And what do you do? You go on a date with the girl and you continuously hold off. You don't go for the kiss because you're feeling she's not ready. Because you're playing out this unconscious pattern of she's not ready until she gives me the green light. And then you're on a date. You don't kiss her. And then maybe you get off the date because I'm talking about the way it affects you now. Maybe you get off the date, but then it shows that the woman doesn't want to see you again. She starts to not uh, return your text. She starts to become cold in the text, or altogether she just goes flat cold and you know you just never hear from her again. Then you start to regret, man, I should have went for the kiss. I felt that I wanted to, but I couldn't go for the kiss. If you don't believe that it's because of your collective conditioning around creep, sleaze, women not ready, then you are totally misled. You're totally misled because everybody's telling you women love sex just as much as men. So chill out. Cool. Be cool, man. Women love sex just as much as men. And when they say that, you're like, finally, somebody understands me. That's how you feel in the moment. But let me tell you this. Finally, somebody understands you. It's not going to give the chance for the strong conditioning in yourself to come to a resolution. The way for it to come to a resolution is for you to consistently be around sources that lets you know that the collective is just conditioning you. It's not that the collective is wrong, it's that they've just conditioned you in a certain way. So you need to allow yourself to get around something else that's going to be able to, so to speak, condition you in another way, in a way that's beneficial to you. Of course, all conditioning is something you want to get away from, but at least make the shift from conditioning that's not benefiting you to, con to, condi to conditioning that's benefiting you. And that's what I had to do. I had to move from situations in media and different sources that was letting me know women, they felt like this about sex. Women thought about this when it came to sex. Especially TV shows and things like that. Where uh, when, you sh when a man's showing his sexual interest in a TV show, it's always this stigma around it. Always this thing around it. He's got to be the, the sleazy player. Like every time, he's got to be the sleazy player. And they never make the guy showing his sexual interest 
and to the guy that actually gets the woman and she falls in love with him. That's, that's only usually in a drama. But as a norm, that's not a thing. That's only in relation to drama. That's what I'm saying. In so many ways, you're being conditioning. I mean, you're being conditioned into women need time. Women don't love sex just as much as you. They love love. And, and, if, and until you show them love, they won't have sex with you. Unless they'll have sex with you if they're drunk and off their head. Like, they're fucking just wasted. These are all the ways that society is showing us. The collective is showing us that this is the way that women want it. And if you want to have women, then you better follow this track and don't break any of these rules. Because if you break any of these rules, what will happen is the woman won't want you. You'll be, you'll be considered one of those guys that women avoid. Move away from the societal constraints around what is sexuality for a woman. Move away from it. Because if you stay with society's constraints around what sexuality is for a woman, you'll never really know. This is why guys, when they come on workshop and I'm teaching them, they feel different at the end in relation to sex with women because maybe they've had sex with a woman. And maybe it was the first time having sex with a woman when they're with me. But, but, they had to get around something that can influence them in the right way. Which is me. They had to get around a, a, a force that's going to be able to short circuit that part of their mind that wants to go, yeah, but this is sleazy. Yeah, but this is creepy. Ah, uh, yeah, but is she, can I really go for the kiss at this time? They had to get around sources that lets them know, yes, you can. Evidence. That it's okay. Until a man really gets around evidence, he will be always under the influence of this conditioning in his mind. Always under this influence. But the great thing about this, guys, is once you move away from this conditioning that's not helping you, and you move towards the conditioning that is helping your sexuality. What you will notice is that in helping your own sexuality, you will help women express themselves sexually in front of them, in front of you. For a woman to express herself sexually in front of you, she needs to feel that you are already a sexual man. And not just sexual, meaning like you're willing to just say really sexual things to her, but talk about sex in a way where it's encouraging to her. Talk about sex in a way where people put so much meaning in false advertising around it. Really, they put so much around it. It's just like so much falsity around it. Just like making it seem like it's so many different things that it's not. Just so much. The moment that you can bring a woman into that world, you also give her the chance to free her own self up from her own conditioning. Because not only are you conditioned as a man, the women that you meet are conditioned as well. They are conditioned to respond to you in a certain way. They're conditioned to act in a certain way with you sexually. They're not conditioned to just be open when you first meet them sexually. There's not, they're not conditioned to do that. Sorry, there's very few women on this earth who are willing to be sexual before you are. Very, very few. More women nowadays are getting more independent, so many of them are willing to talk about it or make jokes about it. But to really be sexual around you, like really, it requires the man leading the way. Because he's going to give her the chance to ground herself in her own sexuality because he's grounded in his own sexuality. And women want to express their sexuality, they do. They want to, but they're just looking for those men or the man that's going to give them the chance to be able to express it. And I really want that <clears throat> to be you. I really want that to be the man that's watching this video. If you're not already talking to women in a way where it's easy for both of you, just let down your guard. 
and just be real and sexual in the way you want to, I'm here to tell you that this is one way that you absolutely will not fail to make sure that you guys can have this sexual relation with each other from the moment you say hello. So what is the thing that's going to help you do this? <sighs> Sources that give you evidence that sex is totally fine with the woman. That talking about sex is totally fine with a woman. Being sexual is totally fine with a woman. This is the number one way for you to be able to. The key insight that I want to give you is to get around sources that tell your mind that sex is normal. Okay, women like it. Women are interested in it. Women want men who are sexual. Women want to be extremely sexual. You need to find sources that give you the chance to do this. And what are some sources that you can put yourself around? You can put yourself around sources that are incredibly powerful. And one source that you can put yourself around is other men. Put yourself around other men who also know this to be a truth. When you put yourself around other men who know this to be a, know this to be a truth, you will inevit inevitably, because of the power of the group, remember I told you, the collective, because of the power of the group, you will start to be influenced by it. You move into a different collective that's going to benefit you in the way that you want to move toward what you want to move toward in life, and immediately your results go up because that collective doesn't allow an outside influence of what is not in this group. So if a man was to come into that group with the idea that women aren't sexual, immediately that whole group would ban him because he's not a part of the collective. And it's the same way with the big collective of just the world. When you're a man trying to fit into society and trying to find the sources out there that society is going to give you to let you know this, you will never find it because guess what? This collective doesn't tell you that that is okay. So find a group of men, you know, this is why, you know, getting around men who are on the spiritual journey, the guys who are in self-development, guys who are going towards trying to be better with women. This is why when you're around them, you start to get influenced heavily because there's a different collective coming in and influencing you. And they can help you be able to disidentify from the part of yourself that wants to go, it's this creepy, sleazy, blah, blah, blah. So get around a group of men and make these your friend. Make them your friends. And as you get around them, just I'll just see what is the things that they talk about. How, how is it that women are so different and, and, and want sex? And once you start to go in with that curiosity and that openness toward that, immediately your conditioning starts to undo and you start to build something new. So that's one source you can get around. Another source for you to get around, which is amazing, is getting female friends. Get a female friend, whether it be a woman at work, whether it be when you're going out and you, you talking to a girl, don't have the intention to pick her up, just chat with her, really. Or it's just maybe the social circle you have now, just get around a girl in a social circle and just start to become curious about sexuality. Start to bring up small questions like, I'm just so curious about, you know, women are just so interesting. Like they have so many different things. You know, I was reading, you know, this book and it was, you know, you know, for even Fifty Shades of Grey, maybe you just bring this up, you know, I was just figuring out like, you know, I'm curious about women's sexuality. Are, are women just, you know, do they really think about things like this? And when you have the curiosity behind it, when you have the, if these books, you know, do, do women really, you know, do they really get around a man that they that they like and, and they feel like their heart is racing, start to just dive in. You don't have to, of course, dive in straight to the sexual part, but you can build it up as well. You know, start to get around women and ask questions in relation to them and then start to move it towards sexuality 
or you can just be bold enough and many women they'll just be willing to give you because of your curiosity the answer to the questions that you have get around females female friends literally get female friends into your life so they can start to influence you to let you know the truth you need to know some of this shit that you don't know right now because right now on the video i can tell you women love sex just as much as men and i can be influencing you but until you firsthand go find in, uh, sources that's going to help you i'm just another person telling you i am and you may trust me and that's great i'm glad you trust me because i'm out there living my life in a way in whatever i speak but I want you to go find it for yourself. I really do. And the third source that I want you to get that I want you to get around is books. All right, I could give you TV shows and things like that, but I really just want to tell you, getting around books, you'll start to blow your fucking mind around what women want and um, how they think about sex and how confronting it is when you first find out. I remember me getting around books and you know feeling like. This is really what they like? Holy fuck. This is so confronting. I remember my heart racing and my pelvic floor clenching up and me feeling like fuck. Do they really want things like this? Do they really want to be dominated like this? Do they really want sex spontaneously like this? Do they really think about it as much as I do? Wow. Get around books that give you the chance to see insight into female sexuality. Because this is one of the most influential sources. Especially if you're a man who's in self-development, this is something that's going to help you tremendously and you're developing as a lover. And I'm just going to give you just three, so to speak, sources as far as books that definitely help me that I know will help you if you decide to use them. The first one is a great book called My Secret Garden. This book is so confrontational for a man if he's not ready. You must be open and ready for female sexuality if you're gonna read this book. Because even the woman, the woman that I'm with now and the women that I've, that I've met in the past, they definitely attest to this. Some of the sick shit that's in this book, literally, some of the sick things in this book where you go, fuck, this is sick. Women love it, they do. Remember, their whole world is living in fantasy because they can't just go out there like a man and just be like, I fucked this, this, this uh, girl, you know, as, as, as a woman, she can't just say, go out there and be like, I fucked this guy. And it's, if she's saying that, then of course she's a slut. So what, can, what do they do though? They live in fantasy because that's what happens when you can't express something, it becomes suppressed. And as it becomes suppressed, it turns into fantasy. And that's what happens for women. And with this book in itself, it completely changed my whole view, my whole fucking view around women liking sex and I was like, wow, this is some shit for me. It was so confronting for me, so confronting. I was a bit scared when I first saw it. I was like, wow, this is, you know, I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna be open to this, but going into it, I was like, man, this is a lot for me. So if you feel that in the beginning, that man, this is really a lot to take in, just understand that that's just the initial shock, but eventually you'll get over it. Now you have, <clears throat> These great books by Lucia Jordan. She has some amazing books, which is actually my favorite. She's my favorite of all three of these sources I'm gonna give you because I've read her books and I'm just like, wow, this is so amazing. It's so stimulating, even for me. Like I've gotten hard reading her books because it really brings you into the experience of like what a woman is feeling, you know, how she may be resisting the guy, but she really wants him. All these things that are very true to life in many ways that the feminine resists the masculine. Her books, I would say, are fucking great. These are actually the ones that nobody I've ever heard talk about it, but these are fucking great books to me. They are. Lucia Jordan books will blow your mind and just understanding how females think and how they want sex to be spontaneous, real, and very enjoyable. Then you have a lovely book that I have read. I didn't finish the whole thing, but as far as I got through it, it's been an amazing book. And that's The Lost Diaries of Don Juan. This book is very insightful into a lover just going around just having sex with women and just being this fleeting lover, this fling lover. But he's a fling 
lover. He's not just the man that's going around just fucking. He's also really connected as he's doing it. He's showing a woman how be beautiful she is through him doing this. And as he's going through these, uh, these adventures, he's having to, you know, you know, dodge this and dodge this, basically the collective, so he can stay within this seducer type of archetype. And this is one book that's going to open you up to female sexuality and also a man who's a lover going around and being able to explore this as well. I hope you guys found all this uh, very, very insightful because it is. Remember, the key insight is to get around sources that tell your mind that sex for women is okay, that talking about sex is okay, that it's not creepy to show your interest before the woman gives you the green light. Get around sources that show you this, and that's going to be your route to freedom of your own sexuality and freeing up the woman to be sexual in front of you. <sighs> I want to give you guys something. I want to give you a free meet to bedroom series that I've created. It's about 30 minutes. It's going to allow you to just understand everything from the approach to taking a girl to the bedroom. And I've created this totally free for you. Totally free. Just go over to the description box or go down to the description box. And I want you to click the link. That link will take you somewhere. You'll put in your email. You'll get to my subscribe list where I'll be sending you free content. That's exclusive starting in, in August. And you can get to learn many of the steps that guys just won't, that won't know and need to go pay for. But you will know it from approach all the way to the bedroom. I've set it up. It's effective. And if you know the way that I speak, like this video, you know that I'm going to give you what's real. And like I always say, guys, who you are is valuable for that what you want in life and in relation to women it's just realizing it this is Tony Solo saying I'll see you guys on Wednesday I hope you guys enjoyed that video you know I'm always giving you something new and it's also something new that I want to give you I've created a video series which is approach to bedroom and I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon the approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home and along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.